My name is George Casey. Uh, I'm a retired Army general that graduated from the School of Foreign Service in 1970. The career starts here uh, at Georgetown in the Foreign Service School. I mean, this is 66 to 70, so it's right in, in, in the very difficult times of, of the Vietnam War. And my, my dad was in the military. In fact, he, he was killed in Vietnam. And, and so I felt that it was my duty to serve because the country was at war. My first assignment was to Egypt. And I, this was right in the middle of the Cold War, and I wound up spending a week at a time on the Suez Canal with just myself and three Russian officers. And the tensions at the time, just among people, uh, were so great that we, we rotated the cooking duties, and they wouldn't even take a bite of their food the first time I cooked until I took a bite of mine. And it really wasn't until I became a brigadier, a, a, a brigadier general that I was assigned back to the Pentagon to do political military uh, issues uh, for Europe. Uh, and that was really my first big step onto, onto the international stage. Um, and I loved it. And, and I mean, I would be sitting in my office in the Pentagon Dick Holbrook would be going in to see Milosevic during, as the time where the ultimatum was running out. And he was calling back and said, okay, this is what we agreed and I want B-52s taking off from the air base in England as the time I'm walking into his office. So we were supplementing diplomatic action with military methods and things like that. It was fascinating. And right after September 11th, I was brought up to be the Director of Strategy and Policy for the United States military. I basically spent my time designing a long-term plan for, at that time, the war on, on terror. People forget now what it was like in the days and months after September 11th. I mean, as a country, we had no idea what had hit us. We were working 20-hour days just trying to get something in place to protect the country. It was really a, it was really a, a tough time. So yes, what am I? What am I most proud of? That's probably the most important thing is seeing the army through a very difficult period and having it come out stronger and better prepared for the challenges of the 21st century.